Here's why. I got joy. This started me down in my heart. I got joy down in my soul. I got joy on my lips, even in my fingertips. I got joy from my head to my toes. Jesus is a joy. Jesus is a joy, Jesus is a joy in my heart. Jesus is a joy, is a joy, Jesus is a joy, Jesus is a joy in my heart. Jesus is a joy, is a joy, Jesus is a joy, Jesus is a joy in my heart. Jesus is a joy, is a joy, Jesus is a joy, Jesus is a joy in my heart. Everybody say J E S U S. Come on. J E S U S. I can't hear you. J E S U S. kids. Man, I tell you, it seems like it's been a hundred years since we've been able to get together and worship on Sundays or Wednesday, Wednesdays. But we'll get back to that day one of these days real soon. But until we do, I thought we might have some, uh, some Bible studies together online. You know, we're, we're doing the right thing. We're protecting those who have immune deficiencies and the elderly by self-quarantining, and that's the right thing to do, and I appreciate you doing that. And I want to thank you guys for praying for my family, if you've been praying for our family, because we've been sick. Um, Seth and Yvette are doing much, much better, and I'm doing good, too. I'm getting there. I'm not quite completely healthy. got a little bit of cough left, but other than that, I'm, I'm doing okay. I want to ask you to pray for my son-in-law, Rick. He's still very sick, and he uh, has a disease that causes him to be immune deficient. It makes it very hard for him to get over disease, so I would appreciate uh, you praying for uh, Mr. Rick, okay? You know, now, the start thinking about what, what, I, what I want to share with you, I thought, well, why don't we just go into what we would have shared on Wednesday night during GB Kids? So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to look at that, and the first thing I'm going to say is we're in letter X. If you have your, your notebook, you can look at it, but X, this is like an X-ray. God sees and knows all about you. And the Bible verse that you would have memorized is Matthew 10, 30. And even the very hairs on your head are all numbered. God knows you so much that he knows every hair on your head. He knows everything about you. And he loves you. And he's got a plan for your life. And, it, and it's just amazing. How many of you ever had to get x-rayed? Maybe you hurt your arm or your leg and you had to get x-rayed. It's a pretty cool thing, unless you've got a broken leg or a broken arm or something. But anyway, I can remember when I had just graduated the seventh grade. It was in the middle of summer. It was like two weeks before football season started. And I went to my girlfriend's house on my bicycle. She lived about three or four miles away from my house. So I rode my bicycle over there, and I was talking to her. And Jimmy came by. Jimmy was a sixth grader. And I just wanted to show her how big and strong I was and what a manly man I was. So I took Jimmy and put him up and put him up on my shoulders and I began to spin him around. 
you know, professional wrestling calls it the airplane spin, where you spin somebody on their shoulders and they get really dizzy. Well, I started spinning him around, and I started getting dizzy. And the next thing you know, I stepped in a hole and I fell down and he fell down and we all went to the ground. He was okay, but I what? My foot was hurting so bad I couldn't stand it. And so I knew I had to go home and I had to get my foot looked at. And so I got on my bicycle and I couldn't ride my hurt foot, so I just kind of had to walk my bicycle back. And I was walking home and I was getting late and my dad knew something wasn't right because I wasn't home. So he got in his car and drove around looking for me and found me. He got me in the car and put my bike in the, in the trunk and took me home. And we got, he got me up and set me on the back of the trunk after we got the bike out and took my shoe off and my foot swelled up like a balloon. I mean, it was huge. And he goes, oh, something's not right. And so he took me in and I laid down and I tried to sleep, but the pain was so bad, it was horrible. All night long, I couldn't sleep. And the next morning, got up and he took me to the doctor's office. And I can remember I rode on his back and he carried me on his back into the doctor's office. We went in and they x-rayed my foot and sure enough, they could tell that I had broken my foot in three places. And that cost me my entire football season that year because it took that long for my foot to heal. But because of the x-ray machine, here's a picture of an x-ray machine. Because of the x-ray machine, they were able to see exactly what was wrong inside of my body. And God is able to see everything about our lives. I have some pictures here that are of devices that help us see things that we can't see on our own. So let's see if we can figure out what they are. Okay, let's take a look at this first one. What is this? What? No, Kara, it is not a toothbrush. If you're brushing your teeth with something like this, you're doing it wrong. Okay? All right. No. This is a gas gauge. It it's in your car and it tells you how much gas is in your gas tank. If we didn't have a gas gauge, we'd run out of gas all the time. But we can look at that and tell how much gas is in our gas tank and then we can go to the, to the gas station and get more gas, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. What is this? Do you know? It is an ear thermometer. You can put that on a child or an adult's ear and it'll tell you what your temperature is on the inside of your body. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. You don't even have to open your mouth. I kind of like that. But anyway, it lets your mom or your dad or the doctor know if you have a temperature, if you're running a fever, if you need some kind of medication to help you feel better. So that's pretty cool. What is this? It's a stethoscope, if I can say it right, a stethoscope. And it's what doctors use to listen to your heart. Now, three years ago, my granddaughter, second granddaughter, Eleanor was born, and the doctors used a stethoscope and listened to her heart, and they could tell something wasn't right. So they did, uh, they did some tests and they found out she had a hole in her heart. And they said, well, she has a hole in her heart, but it's not super big. Let's just watch it and see if, it, if the heart doesn't heal itself. And sure enough, in a year or so, the heart grew back together. And so she's fine. But they used that stethoscope to see what was going on inside of her heart. Pretty cool. What is this? No, David, it is not a video game. No, it is a, it is a thermostat. Thermostats are used that, uh, what I love about a thermostat is they can tell you what the temperature in the building is. Not only can they tell you what the temperature in the building is, but they can fix it. It's kind of like God. God has the power to fix whatever is wrong in our life if we just trust him. But a thermostat, you can set the thermometer to 72 degrees, and when your house gets hot and it gets 73 degrees, it will send a signal to your air conditioner to turn on and cool you off. So it fixes the problem. Just like God has the power to fix the problems in our life if we will trust Him and honor Him. He will do that.
Once again, like an x-ray, God sees and knows all about you. Matthew 10, 30 says, And even the very hairs on your head are all numbered. God loves you guys so much. And He's got a plan for your life. And He has the power to fix whatever's going on in our life. So let's spend some time and let's pray. Let's pray. Father, we come before you. We thank you so much that you love us. We thank you so much that you know everything and that you're all powerful. And we just pray right now, Lord, that you would have your way in our lives. Father, we want to pray for those in our church and those in our community and those in our nation and those around the world who are sick. We pray, Father, that you would uh, move in their lives and so that you would heal them and strengthen them. Father, we want to specifically pray, Lord, for our parents and for our grandparents, Lord, that you would keep them healthy. Father, we want to pray for those who have immune deficiencies. We pray, Lord, that you would keep them healthy as well. And Father, we just look forward to the day when we can come back together and worship at Gideonville Baptist Church. And Lord, I pray you, you would make that day happen really, really soon. And Father, I pray that you would be with us until that day comes. Lord, help us to stay in touch with you. Lord, help us to continue to trust you. And we give you praise, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, kids, it's great to get to see you and talk to you. And we'll send you some more studies real soon. God bless you. See you later.